position. نعم بالنسبة للصور يعني الكتب موجودة وال هل يكفي انها تضع في الدولاب او كذا؟ I'm asking the sheikh about the pictures because we have books at home magazine. Is it sufficient just to put in a drawer or something? Uh, does everyone understand the question? Sam, I can't hear the Everyone understand the question? The brother's asking is it sufficient that we just put away the pictures or is it not sufficient? Uh, there was some fatawa that Sheikh uh, Al-Thaymeen had said that this has overwhelmed the believers, the Muslims today. Uh, so the Sheikh said, if you were to put them away in your drawers and things like that, there should be a problem. So fear Allah as much as you can. Then in reality, what we've seen in our cases that we deal with in uh, concerning Ruqya, so as long as there is uh, pictures in the house, there are certain um, basically holes, uh, loopholes that jinns uh, try to um, use. Uh, of course, it's in, in reality, it's very difficult to, before you enter your home, take all your pictures out and put them away somewhere outside your home. It's impossible. Um, but we know um, that, that it has some form of an effect. We pray to Allah to protect us all. In the question, so some will trace their picture uh, from, a, from a picture to a drawing, this is not allowed. So the Sheikh is talking maybe an apps that on phones that when you start playing with the facial features, adding horns and ears in different places, this is totally not allowed and this is actually a big sin. And it goes into the, the ones that, who are drawers that will be punished on the Qiyamah, uh, it goes into that. So all these apps that, that people are using, changing features like from a man to a woman, a man to a monkey or a pig and so on and so forth, this is totally not allowed and should not be practiced as fiddling. Some will say I've wiped it, I've deleted it, he said that it's still Yom al Qiyamah will haunt you. Except if you repent and you don't go back to it, then inshallah, that's, that's, that's finished.